each grade focuses on a specific time period. So we'll be learning about the Renaissance and cultural history while we're studying Machiavelli's The Prince and reading literature of the time period. In science, we'll be working on Leonardo da Vinci's drawings of anatomy. We just had a ninth grade integrated project math class because one point perspective is used in Renaissance paintings. We actually learned the kind of geometry that they used in the Renaissance paintings. How can you tell there's depth there in that particular painting? The arches. The arches. Who's Euclid? Father of geometry. Where's the focal point of this painting? Right in the center. Okay, so what else in this painting might make you feel like you're walking towards that center? Okay, anybody notice anything about these that are similar to the style that's used here as well? Floor tiles. Tile floors were actually used in a lot of Renaissance paintings. It's a really nice way to approach perspective, ratio and proportion. If you look at all three of these paintings, all those floors have tiles with lines that draw your eye to the back. You are going to make a tile floor in one point perspective that's going into your Leonardo notebook. The Leonardo notebook project is an integrated media project that involves multiple drawings in the Leonardo da Vinci style. And at the end of the trimester, we put everything into one book. OK, place your point on the end of the segment, the end point, and swing an arc so it looks like that. Now I have a lot of knowledge about Renaissance, about math, about science, about the art in the Renaissance.